Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I've got a real treat for you in the form of a prefab home like nothing I've ever seen before. Just when I thought I'd seen it all, I stumble across what I think is one of the coolest homes currently available in the entire world, and they go by the name of Isle House. Not only does this home look completely different than your average manufactured prefab or modular home, it is different. Some of the things they're offering on their flagship model will make your head spin. Their mission, to create high quality homes that support a sustainable lifestyle. Tough to argue with that. Right now, they have one model available at three tiers called the Space. However, it looks like they'll be adding a second model in the not so distant future. We've got a lot to cover, so I'm gonna get right into this thing. What I'm gonna do is show you the home, tell you about the company building it, and of course, I'm gonna let you know how much it costs, so let's do it. This is the Space by IO House. It's a 645 square foot, one bedroom, one bathroom, modern living solution requiring absolutely nothing from the grid. Yes, you heard that right. All of the utilities you need are integrated and completely autonomous, including water, electricity, heating, and Wi-Fi. Not only that, it can all be monitored and managed from a smart device. Crazy, right? That means you have full control of your home no matter where you are. Could be at work, could be on vacation, doesn't matter. You can sign into your app, see what's going on at home, and make changes if need be. The space has solar powers and a generator for power, a heat pump, a 2,000 liter freshwater tank, and a 3,000 liter sewer tank. Like I said, fully off the grid. They're calling it the perfect fusion of technology and design, allowing you to live independently and free. To be clear, you can live free, but it's not for free. If you want one, you do have to pay for it. The exterior of the space was developed by designers, engineers, and leading construction specialists who envisioned a modern space perfectly aligned with nature. I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but I'll tell you what I do know for sure, and that's that the exterior of this place looks very cool. It's an absolute slam dunk. The space is designed to be versatile and can be moved from place to place. And since it's fully off the grid, there's nothing tying it down and keeping it in one spot. The company says, no contracts, no obligations. The space by Isle House frees you from being shackled to old world utility networks. Our revolutionary design also gives you freedom of location. I really like the idea of that. It would be amazing to be able to move your house to different locations for different seasons. And with remote work being so much more common these days, it's probably an option for a lot of people. I do wonder though how common it will actually be for people to move their space around from place to place often. It's not like you can just hook onto it with a truck and away you go. Unlike a tiny home, you have to hire a full-on trucking company and get the space loaded onto a flatbed with a crane. Whether or not it ends up being moved often doesn't really matter, it's always nice to have the option. When the space arrives, wherever it's going, the automatic balconies fold down on either side, adding a built-in outdoor living space with every home that's ready to go as soon as it lands. I like that because it's easy and it takes time out of the setup so you can move into your new home faster. If you like contemporary styling and clean lines like me, you're probably a fairly big fan of the exterior of the space. It's the Ferrari of prefab homes, and for exterior, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Before we look at the inside, let's check out the floor plan. Just like most everything on this house, the floor plan is quite unique. It has the bedroom on the end, which opens up directly into the living room. That's quite a common characteristic of a home this size. However, past that, is where it gets interesting. Typically in tiny prefab or single section manufactured homes, spaces are stacked on top of each other in the floor plan, meaning you travel through one space to get to the next. For example, a floor plan might go bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room. They're all in a line and flow from one to the next. That isn't the case at all with the space. The living room wall opposite the bedroom has an entertainment center, then the floor plan splits on either side kitchen on the right, and entryway with access to a bathroom on the left. It's hard to tell how much space is in the kitchen. It looks a bit small in the rendering, which might be a concern for some people. However, it's not going to make any difference in my life. I'm a terrible cook, and the size of the kitchen is not going to change that. Finally, there are two rooms that are accessed from the exterior of the home, which are essentially a control room for everything that allows this home to be off the grid. I noticed on one floor plan that the rooms span the entire width of the home with one door, and on others, it's split into two spaces, so I'm assuming you have the option of either. And on the two-room option, the second space is likely designed for storage. 
Inside the space, the modern theme continues. Obviously, you don't put a full cowboy kitchen in something with an exterior like the space. IO House describes it as the perfect blend of technology and art. Every detail from the fittings and fixtures to the shape of the rooms has been carefully considered and designed to maximize the comfort and the aesthetics of the home. Luxury and living meets the tranquility of nature. Only the most premium materials have been used in creating the perfect balance. I really like the interior of this house, but I'm a big modern guy, always have been, so it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that I think it's the cat's meow. One of my favorite things about this house is the fact that it comes with furniture included. I like that because it can be very hard to create a certain look on your own and find furniture that fits well into a small space. People fall in love with a show home that's been professionally staged perfectly then can't figure out why it doesn't feel the same when their own furniture goes in. I'm always a fan of having the option for included furniture, especially in a small unique space. Besides the included furniture, my favorite part about the interior of the space has to be the built-in cabinets in the bedroom and living room and of course the floating bed. I was hoping they'd have more pictures of the kitchen, but the one provided doesn't really give you a sense of what it's all about. It could be due to the simple fact that it isn't an easy space to get a picture of. Who knows? We've seen the house, now let's talk about who's building it and how much it'll cost you. Iohouse is based in Stockholm, Sweden. They're on a mission to build homes that blend in with their natural surroundings without any negative impact and have implemented sustainable, high quality design-led manufacturing. Like I mentioned, the space is currently available at three different tiers, which means they come at three different price points. Since they're a European company, the prices are listed in euros, so I'm gonna convert that to USD, which will be accurate the day this video was made. The standard space starts at $207,000 and comes with everything shown on the screen. Pause the video if you wanna look over what's included for that price. The premium space is right around $270,000, and finally, the Space Lux is $325,000, which again includes everything shown on the screen. The space does cost quite a bit more than what I usually feature on my channel, but to be fair to Isle House, nowhere on their website do they claim to be an affordable option. What they're building is a very high-end and unique home. Like I mentioned, they are coming out with a second model, and based on the teaser on their website, I think it's gonna be a smaller, more agile version because it's called the Fox. I'll be keeping an eye out for the reveal of that and hopefully it'll be as cool as what they've done here. While we wait for that, I'm gonna keep bringing you industry updates, new homes, and events that I think are noteworthy. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.